Last night, we brought you highlights of all four championship games held over the weekend featuring our local teams in the Twin State area. So for the rest of the week, we thought we'd break down those games even further, beginning tonight with Springfield Softball. The third-ranked Cosmos knew they'd be in for a tough task in Saturday's Division II title game against top-seeded and unbeaten BFA Fairfax, but it was Springfield who struck first to the tune of a 1-0 lead in the top of the first inning. Junior shortstop Brooke Wiley started things off for the Cosmos with a leadoff walk and advanced to second shortly after on a perfectly executed sacrifice bunt by the team's semifinal hero and sophomore Lena Geyer. From there, senior third baseman Chelsea McAllister didn't hesitate with a runner in scoring position, driving in Wiley with the game's first run on this triple to the wall in left field. Unfortunately for coach Andy Bladika's team though, the lead didn't last long as this RBI single in the home half of the inning knotted things at 1-1, before this pass ball allowed BFA Fairfax to cross the plate with what proved to be the game-winning run. The Bullets added one more run in the opening frame on this single up the middle to take a 3-1 lead, but Cosmos ace Jay Twombly induced a pair of pop-outs to end the inning and keep the deficit at two. Bullets ace Kayla Matheu didn't give up much from there, though, surrendering just two more hits in the contest on this one-out double in the top of the second by Alyssa Lucius, and a leadoff single here in the top of the fourth by sophomore first baseman Cassidy Otis. BFA Fairfax, on the other hand, padded its lead with a single run in the bottom of the third on this RBI single to shallow left, before rounding out the game scoring in the bottom of the sixth on this shot to the gap in left center to make it a 5-1 game. The Cosmos looked to make some noise with a runner on in its final at bat, but the Bullets handled this bunt with ease to clinch the program's third title in the last four years. Twombly pitched well despite suffering the loss, allowing just three earned runs on six hits while striking out five in what was Springfield's most successful season since they won it all back in 2011. Be sure to check out tomorrow's broadcast when we break down the Sunapee baseball team's fourth trip to the title game in the past five years. That does it for YCN Sports, I'm Mike Pizzone.